Alright guys, welcome back to another Tokyo Dark Remembrance video. I can feel we're getting close to the end here. And I'm, I'm super curious what's going to happen. Clearly we're going to make two big choices, or we're going to have two big choices to make when we get to the end of the game here. And that's purifying the mask, or helping Reyna, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and place it. Why my sanity? Why is my sanity going... I can't even have more investigation. The air completely changed when I placed the statue with the others. The forest doesn't seem so dark now. I kind of fear... Feel clearing up ahead. Reyna, are you still here somewhere? Okay, I can't do anything about it. Alright, music cut out. Here we go. This must be it. The Kamikai uh, compound. I finally made it. Looking at it now, I can't help but feel underwhelmed. For all the secrecy, classified documents, and forbidding stories, all I see are uh, drab gray structures in the forest clearing. But it's eerie. Over a decade ago, 12 people died here, and this compound was left standing as a grim reminder. It gives me the creeps. I should find out what I came here uh, for and get back to before sundown. What was Raina trying so hard to prevent me? Yeah, why is she trying to prevent me from doing stuff? Because I'm seeing what her past is like. So, like, what... Yo, what if I was supposed to collect all the cat toys and that gave me the secret ending? Or like a good ending? I'm gonna be salty about it. Because I've only gotten like three. We can go in there. Go in here. Should have went in the rooms before. I can't, I can't let my daughter be in the ritual. Emiko, no. That's not for you to decide. You know her importance, what the guru says she can show us. But, but she's my daughter. Tokimasa hasn't told us anything what's, uh, what he's going to do for her. It's Reina, isn't it? It has to be Reina, and that's why she was in foster care. She is our daughter, Hisako. Do people like that are crazy. But if it doesn't work like he says, she's, she's so young. You doubt him now? It's because she's so young that she was chosen. Her mind is not stained by regret, sadness, or, or corruption. She's perfect. I, I know that. Just... Then why hesitate? The guru tells us we're approaching the moment that we uh, that will bring us true peace, the culmination of everything we've worked uh, for. Somehow, your child is uh, the focal point. He says uh, she will be grant she'll be granted a sight even more profound than his own. She can lead us. I only want to make sure she's okay. He promised me she'd be safe, but now I'm not so sure. The guru guru will make sure she's taken care of. She'll want uh she'll want for nothing and be blessed with new sight. It's the only way the world is on the brink of ruin. There's no time left. My own child will... will. Emiko, don't worry. They'll be safe. No, my own mother betrayed me. She dragged my children away to die in the filth. I, I'm i sorry. I must be strong. Soon we'll have no more worries and transcended our flesh. Oh, so Grandma's already left. Okay. You know, don't you? I saw you outside when you told you this. Yes. All of the things I studied, they were uh, only ever used by corrupt people to control one another, to hurt one another. Soon we'll be free from all that. We'll escape the suffering of this world and be reborn. It will be Reyna who shows us the way. She will be the bridge. You're right. I always knew she was special, even when she was growing inside me. I feel it. Promise me again. Promise me she'll be taken care of. And we need to go back to these. Mommy, she's so cute. Reyna! Where were you? I missed you. Shh, keep your voice down, sweetheart. I can't stay long. Why not? Why don't you stay with me anymore? Well, that's, that's complicated. The guru thinks it's best if we part for a while. He has big plans for us, and you, for you especially. Who cares about all that? Honey, it's not that simple. Why not? Why won't they let us be together? Because you're so pure and perfect. I know you love me, but I'm no good if I stay with you. I. He says I'll corrupt you. But I'm so weak. I wanted to see you. It's our leader's secret, okay? Okay, mommy. Is it my fault you can't stay with me anymore? All right, and no, of course not. It's me. You're going to be a big, important person someday. I can't hold you back. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, but someday you'll understand. Toki Masa has big plans for you. He told me uh, so himself. He said, you're the key to everything because you're so pure. Remember why uh, we left the city? Because everyone's so mean and out for themselves. They're all stained by corruption, but not us. Not, not you, anyway. I, I thought you said we were going home. We can't. Tokimasa says the great machine's uh, done for... Great machine? That all those corrupt people will kill each other in wars and will be left. But you'll be there to guide them soon. You've been chosen by Tokimasa. D die? I don't want anybody to die. Yes, me neither, sweetie, but... But like I said, Tokimasa has figured out a new ritual that, and you'll be able to help everyone. I don't understand. Why are you saying all these weird things? Now, Reyna, it's not easy for me either. But it's not about what you... Oh, but what we want all the time. If you do this, it'll help me. You want to help Mommy, don't you? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. 
Exactly, so let's smile, okay? Hey, guess what? What? Before the ritual, there's gonna be a big celebration just for you. It'll be a big feast. What's that mean? It's a big meal where everyone uh, gets to eat all the food they want. It's like a party. Doesn't that sound fun? I guess so. And I can come see you again? Do you promise? Yeah, afterwards we'll all go out uh, together for the ritual. All together? I thought you said it was just me. Like I said, sweetheart, you've been chosen. Togemasa says you'll gain the sight to guide us to salvation. Okay. Hey, don't look so sad. You'll get uh, me crying if you do, and you don't want to see Mommy cry, do you? No. Good, Reyna. I, I need you to listen to me now. Here, I want you to have this. This mommy's, am uh, mommy's amulet, the one I've kept uh, since I was little. I want you to have it for the ritual. When it starts, I want you to hold it and keep your eyes shut, okay? If you get scared, just hold it tight and think of me. But that amulet is yours. Don't you need it? What if something bad happens to you? It's more important that you have it now. Promise me you'll do what I ask. I, I promise. Let's make a pinky promise. Okay. You know what happens when you break a pink pinky promise, right? Yeah, you said my pinky would fall off. Jeez. Exactly. We wouldn't want that, now would we? That is some uh, thing to say to a child. I don't think I've ever said... No, I don't think I have. After tomorrow, things might be different. Uh, maybe even a little scary, but it's not all not that bad. The most important thing is that Tokimasa told us we'll all be together. I love you, Reyna. I love you too, Mommy. Wait, hold up. Let me go back. Frick. I gotta press Y in every room I go, because I keep forgetting. Oh, shoot. Uh, well, clearly this is Emiko. What's wrong, Emiko? Oh, Reyna, what are you doing here? You scared me. I I'm sorry. It's all right. You didn't mean it, did you? No. Nope. And there's nothing to worry about. Do, do you want something? Why isn't Takashi or the baby here with you? They... He and his sister weren't, uh, were not meant for the path of purity, not like you. Like, I'm curious. Were, was, uh, my chosen before, or, uh, Reyna? And then we just, they just had to switch to Reyna. It's the night before the ritual. I must unburden myself from the thoughts of them. What's unburdened didn't, didn't mean? <laughs> unburden, Reyna. It means you have, I have to forget them. Yes, forget the child, uh, children, Emiko. Becoming too attached to our offspring is part of mankind's great uh, machine. It is a lie. This was a test. They did not pass. You must. We are so close to our goal. Yeah, yes, of course. I will not shackle myself to meaning, uh, meaningless connections. Raina, don't worry, tomorrow's the great rit ritual Toki Masa has envisioned. So, did Dad have pink hair? Because mine has pink hair, right? You're the guest of honor, everything will be alright. Really? Yes, of course, now run along. I don't want to talk to you, you sound like a... Alright, uh, well, we probably have to. What's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing, it's nothing. The ritual is soon, it will be a great, uh, it will be a time of great change. Go away. Why? Tomorrow you will guide us, but look at you, so young. You must be resilient. Fear is a pure emotion. All forms of life feel freer. The fear, the fear is not weakness, but a test. You are testing me. The guru is wise. Are you okay? You're looking at me funny again. It's nothing. What do you want? Oh, um, do you know where Takashi is? Weak. They're weak. Don't think about them. Don't cloud your thoughts. You must remain as you are. You need to worry. Uh, Tokimasa will guide us. Just wait. We just had a conversation. Thanks, Star Wars. About Tokimasa being gone. Who's these people? Hey, can I have a little of that? The great, uh, great Tokimasa instructed us not to give you any food at the feast. Oh. Don't, uh, you see, you are pure. The feast, the indulgence is there uh, to test us, to show us that we are corrupted with the stains of impurity. It is a reminder of how the great machine of a man keeps our soul shackled and chained. Those who are cleansed must not turn away from the righteous path. Right, but... You're very lucky. Yes, so lucky to be in Tokimasa's favor. He chose you. He chose you to be the bearer of the mask to see the great door to the pure realm. Uh, those other children who were taken, that too was a test to find the most pure among you. You understand, don't you? Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yes, of course not. You are but a child. Tokimasa says, uh, you children are much wiser than us that you understand the world is untainted. Where's Mommy? Mommy, ah, uh, yes, I imagine she is with the Guru. She is in need of the Guru's love. Oh, God. Yes, her mind has gone astray of late. That's such as, oh, my. Guru, Guru, uh, Guru will show her the way. Don't worry, mother, father, sister, brother, it doesn't matter. We are your family. You should go back to your bed. I don't know why the guru let someone so important wander freely. What if something happened to you like the others? What others? Do not uh, fear, child. A, to a great Tokimasa prophecy will come to pass, and there will be no fear very soon. You should go to sleep, child, and remember to do not eat this meal. It is for uh, food for us, the pitiful. Yo, give me the option to eat the food. I'm going to steal your food. Oh, Reina, maybe you shouldn't be here. Okay. Face isn't for you. Okay. Tokimasa said, okay, yes, we understand this. Yep. 
I don't think you're worthless. Well, that's cute. Everyone keeps telling me I'm so special, but no one visits me anymore. And where's everyone else? Are they hiding from me now, too? The others are with the guru preparing themselves for tomorrow. Don't uh, worry, Rain. Everything will be clear tomorrow. There's nothing to fear. Okay, thank God that wasn't a long one. Is that it? What? Raina. What's this? It looks like a simple wooden amulet. How did I not notice this before? What is this? I feel strange like I'm back there again. Oh, that is terrifying. She just... They all killed themselves with her just standing there with a mask? Where am I? The, the forest path. I, I saw things and started running. When I found this amulet, I cut away the fog that had been surrounding me and showed me the truth. The mask, the common kind. Raina was there the whole time. They all killed themselves and made her wear the mask. That day when it uh, was when it started, when Reyna became the mask bearer, when her suffering truly began. The pulse of the dark has changed again, and the fuzzy image I had before has snapped into focus. Everything I need to put an end to this is in my hands. Is it? I still don't understand. Like, what? How long has it been, I wonder? A man in the sewer, a girl with red hair, and, uh, and a detective chasing them both. No, I'm not a detective anymore, only a puppet uh, stupidly dancing on, on strings. I'm... I'm sorry, I'm trying the best I can here. That doesn't sound like me. I'm so stressed out, it feels like the slightest breeze could topple me. Each time I get closer to the truth, something drags me away. Or maybe all those horrible things I haven't, uh, that haven't happened yet, uh, and I'm just riding the train home where Kazuki, uh, Kazuki will be waiting for me. Frick, and another, I skipped it. Uh, did I really see all those things in the forest? Was that real? Has any of this been real? I don't know uh, anymore. Every time I get a handle on the rules, something comes along and it breaks them. But there were things I saw, things I couldn't have known about Togimasa's common car on my own. With me, there's a little wooden mask uh, that so many died for, and now uh, I'm planning to use it on myself. It doesn't feel right. It was her pain that I felt again in the compound. Even now, the dark doesn't uh, seem so unfamiliar. I can feel it calling to me. That must have been when the moment had. That must have been the moment that changed everything. The focal point of all her misery. The dark is steeped in the uh, in that same torment, the suffering of the scared little girl. I wonder if it's the real Reina I've seen, or is it that girl long dead? Either way, whatever uh, is left of her is the dark with uh, Kazuki. My only chance to see Kazuki again is to go into those filthy tunnels and ch uh, find the door. Only then I will have any hopes of using it to change his fate. But I'd be walking into a trade where the other side has their hand uh, behind their back, and I'd be forced to accept the cost without question. Kazuki Tanaka, the man I've suffered so much for, uh, has been stunned to find him in the door. I'll have to use the mask. Uh, I've seen what Reina has become, and as a result of the mask, would that happen to me? Now, I, uh, now that I know the way, is that re really what I want? A horrible object was made out of suffering. Two different groups fed it with the depth of innocence. Why play its game? The uh, entirety of the new Kamenkai died for it. It drove me and the man I love to the darkest depths we've ever known. Why shouldn't I destroy it? I know why. Because I'd be destroying Kazuki and Reina along with it. I've done everything I can, uh, I can to prepare myself, but there's no more time to think. It's time to put an end to all this one way or another. Shinjuki and Kamakubra, the two places where my path started, are also where it has to end. This is it. I need to choose. Will I follow the path further into darkness or return to the light? Okay, let's let's be logical here. If we go to Kamakura, we destroy the mask, and I believe everything just goes back to normal. Where's the fun in that? We want to see a fun in, right? Honestly, though, like going into the darkness here could still be the right path like we're saving Reina from all this pain and suffering right there's got to be some reason why she keeps coming back because she came back before we even had the mask so there's no way it's just the mask like I don't know we can, we're going here we gotta we're going toward the dark bro all right and look we even have a chance if we want it. like that's if you didn't remember it hey what's up girl I need you to... Okay, so she took a new job, sorry.
Okay, reset. Things have gotten that bad. Okay. Can you help? Hold up, hold up. Okay, honestly, they're just talking. Good luck. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, we got her to leave to a new place. How about Die? How's Die, how's die doing? Hey, he looks happy. I'm closing down. Oh, okay. Nice, he's going with his brother. Why'd the wife come back? I... Alright, so he's gonna go with his brother and sell uh, stuff, and now... There we go, give me the achievement. There we go, beautiful. Alright, do we want to go talk to that one dude? It is very... Let's go talk to that one dude. You in here? Hey, what's up? I think they're making me talk to everyone because we're about to die. I <laughs> feel you without your permission. Hey, she got a he got a promotion. Let's go. This guy's helping the police, dude. I've helped these three people. Let's go. Let's go, baby. All right, well, I think it's better to die with knowing we've helped three people and if we help Reina, Kazuki, find peace, we've done it. And besides, do we really want, like, I'm, yes, you should never do what I'm about to say, but do we want to live without Kazuki? Yes, you should always, um, but. The first time I came down here, I was so sure that I would save Kazuki alone and uh, that I didn't think about what I was doing and am I doing the same thing right now? Nope, we've thought this through, we're doing it. I feel a lot of text coming up. My throat's dry, I don't have my water next to me. When I found Kazuki's body, he was wearing the mask. She make, uh, made him wear it uh, as she'd been made to. Even after all that suffering she went through herself, she did it anyways, can I really forgive her? Yeah, we're fine. She, she had some suffering. This time will be different. It's no longer leading to a shapeless tunnel. Rain is down there, I can feel myself being drawn to her. Yep. Do we have to do that light thing again? I spent stupid amount, a stupid amount of time on that. Please don't. Okay, good. Here we go. For some reason, I can open it this time. Why leave this space? Is there an item down? Nope. Being paranoid. I'm gonna keep checking though. Deeper. Dang, how deep does this freaking place go? We're already in the sewers. I'm constantly hitting triangle to find this these cats, by the way, too. I, I know I've, I've, I've missed so many, probably. There's probably one in the collector's room. I didn't even know it. <gasps> Got one. Still going deeper, man. Alright, this has to be it. Or we wait for the music cut. Nope. Oh, there's still one more. Anything over here? No. Nope. As I trudged through the oppressive, lonely place, I slowly became aware of something else. The dark woke up and I began to shudder as if I uh, racked my quiet sobs and I felt numbing sadness spread through my body. The sensation I felt in the place was familiar and I knew why, uh, right, I knew why right away. Reina. She sat there like a little lost girl, like she'd been uh, there for a long time and didn't know where to go. 
There was no fight in her body, no way for her to lash out in that place we were equals. She rose to her feet when she saw me, her gaze looked confused and desperate. She was the start of it all, everything I'd gone through. I'd put an end to it one way or another. Wait, what? Like, we were face to face with her? Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't realize you told me to- oh, I'm so sorry. I just came to give you the mask. Uh, so you went, uh, anyway, even though I told you to leave me alone. Why, couldn't you just forget and leave me alone? Ah, so that's it, he. You want to keep hurting me, right? <laughs> I hate to burst your bubble, but if it's, uh, revenge you're after, it won't work. Nope. Can't blow my brains out down here, the dark won't let you. Ah, did I hurt your feelings? Did you bring up, uh, did you bring your little gun all the way down here for nothing? Are you disappointed? I didn't bring it. There's no point. I don't remember turning in my gun anytime. I didn't shoot you when you took ta Tanaka, and I won't now. Ah, don't try and trick me. That doesn't mean you don't want to. Yeah, that's true. After everything, I've tried to think that you would be the one to show up here in the end. Funny, isn't it? Isn't it? After all, you were only supposed to be the guest star on my little show. A temporary addition to liven things up a bit. Then you kept showing up, up uninvited, digging up every sharp thing you could find to poke me with. Now I, uh, I can't get rid of you. See? It is funny, right? No matter what we do, we're forced together uh, again. We ought to make the best of it. You're right. We can't avoid each other forever. Chances force us together, whether we like it or not, so all we can do is see it through the end. Even when I saw you in the forest, you were down here, weren't you? Where else? Welcome to the end of the line. I don't understand. It's awful down here. Why don't you try and get back to the surface? Why would I go back? What would be the point? When I do, I look around and I don't even recognize it anymore. The streets are different. The sounds have changed. Everyone I knew and ever cared about is gone. You don't know what it's like. Every day the same feel, same and feeling all my old pain again and again and again. People don't change no matter what, no matter how uh, much time goes by. They all still look at me like I'm a flea-bitten dog to be kicked around and, and ignored. They hate me. In the end, I'll end up back here anyway, so why fight it? At least uh, down here, nothing changes. When I was little, they said everything would be okay if I had the mask, but then mommy died and the police took it away from me and nothing's gone, gone right since. No one's ever cared about me. The police, the foster's home, uh, the other girls in the agency, they all hated me. They wanted me dead. You're just like the rest of them, only someday you'll grow old and die, and I'll still be here, unless you give me that mask. It isn't that simple. Having the mask isn't going to solve your problems. It is that simple. Everyone always tells me it can't be that simple, but why not? None of this would have happened if it weren't for you. If you'd just given, me the, it to the, given it to me in the first place, you could have uh, lived your stupid little fantasy life. I said you had to be a hero and get involved in something that was none of your business. Why shouldn't I use it? Are my problems not as important as yours? That it, that's it, isn't it? Everything is about you and making your life happy again. I won't let you be happy. I won't. If you uh, if you won't help me, then fine. But I'll keep hurting you. If you think it's bad now, you don't know the half of it. Or you could give it to me and go on pretending to be happy while I find the door again. Again, you've seen it before. I don't know exactly what you think is going to happen, but when you uh, when you find it, but everything I have found tells me is dangerous. No, you're wrong. The door isn't for you. Collector said so. He said if I had the mask, I could find it again. He said if I found the shrine belonging to the Kiwana, uh, Kiwana, yeah, that I could find it. So you met him too, Rainham. He wasn't trying to help us. He must have been toying with us. Shut up. You, you don't know anything. You told me the mask would let me see the door again, just like just like the day Mommy died. Uh, they put the mask on me, and I kept my eyes closed like Mommy told me to, even when people started getting sick and crying. Then I saw it, the door. Even with my eyes closed, uh, when I looked at it, I heard Mommy's voice, and I knew if I found it, everything would be okay. I opened my eyes and it was gone. The, uh, they took the mask and I saw Mommy on the ground. She wasn't moving anymore like a doll. It was all my fault. It must have been. I did something wrong, but he told me if I found the mask, I could make it right again. Now I'm being punished for being a big screw-up, for not being pure like they told me to be. Except people like Higashi, they shouldn't have hurt me. They should have left me alone. I had to punish them. I just wanted them to stop from hurting me. That doesn't make me bad, right? You understand, right? The funny thing is, if Tanaka was here, he'd understand. Even after everything you did to him. That's the kind of guy he is. Reyna, it's not your, all your fault. This is beyond you. It always has been. That's why Tanaka was so intent on following you from the start. You weren't some orphan girl. He somehow saw the darkest that was behind you. If only he had told me, I could have been there for him, helped him. But no, I... You could have helped me, Ayami. He was helping me. He was going to save me. Why? If he was helping you, why hurt him? I, I didn't want to hurt Ta uh, Tanaka, but it was the only way to bring him here. The same way I was brought here. I thought, he'd, uh, I thought I'd figure it out, but my white knight abandoned me, went somewhere else. It turns out it was just another stupid idea from a stupid girl. What, uh, but what did, you, what did you do to Tanaka? What you did to Tanaka was wrong, but you can still make this right. You brought him down here uh, with you that night. Where is he? I don't know where he is. 
Just tell me what happened from the beginning. It, it's hard to remember. Please try. Nothing's gone the way I thought it would. When I went back to Shinjuki, I, I remembered how I ended up in the dark. I knew what I had to do so Tanaka could be with me. Only the mask wasn't awake. It wasn't loud like in Kamakura, so I made you come into the tunnel with me and Tanaka so it would wake up. Uh, then I slit his throat and went back to the dark and I waited. Tanaka woke up down there too, but the mask was gone. He was alive? He was like me, or I thought he was. At first he seemed okay, but uh, then I started wa wandering around. Then he started wandering around, staring into space and talking to people who weren't there. Poor Tanaka, I think I broke a Miami chun. So he was down here. Tell me where he is. Ed, you don't get it, do you? I don't know where he is and I don't care. Tanaka abandoned me even when he was here. He kept mumbling over and over about how he was going to help you. He gave you every, uh, he gave you something, didn't he, that traitor? How else would you be able to uh, keep finding me? He even said uh, he saw the door, but he didn't take me there. I hate him. Why did he leave me? To think Tanaka would help a stupid little girl like me, it was dumb to even try and bring him here. The collector said I'd uh, find the door with the mask. I just didn't want to be alone, that's all. Now you're here, so I guess the mask is too. I didn't need to uh, him after all. Gone. You're wrong. I can feel him here. He's waiting for me. You can. Maybe he's at the door. Please take me there. Don't leave me. The mask opened the dark and took me straight to Rana, and now that I'm here, I can feel it pulsing like a heartbeat. The door, the unknowable place where chance and fate have no importance, that's where Kazuki is. I know uh, I know now what will happen if I lead her there. She'll get what she truly wants. She'll get to rest and finally be free. No more pain, no more suffering. Maybe that's what uh, maybe that's what Kazuki would have wanted, but if, to, if I do that, the dark will change shape again, and any hope of finding him will be lost. He'd be trapped here waiting for me, and I'd never be able to tell him the truth beyond everything he'd suffer for. That's if uh, Kazuki Tanaka left... Here is the same man I love. Either way, I have to abandon someone, but it's my responsibility. I have to choose. We're clearly gonna do that. Tonica's gone, dude. He's dead. He's gone. Please don't hurt me. Uh, what I did to Tonica was only the way you get it right. No, you're wrong, but then again, maybe there isn't a right way to begin with. In your own way, you're the same as me, grasping out whatever you could. He still might be down here, like you said. Would uh, the ta Tanaka I find be the real him, though? If I use the mask, would I be uh, the real me? I'm not so sure anymore. You're really not going to go after him? No, nope. I'd have to give up even more of myself to come even more to this darkness. He wouldn't have wanted that. You know, for a long time, your face was all I saw ever since Kamakura. Motive me to push through my sadness because uh, I thought I was going to do something good. Putting my problems behind me and becoming the hero and slaying uh, some ancient evil. Became a demon, a symbol of all my hatred, everything bad that happened to me that day. No, I'm not I'm not a demon. No, you're not. You're just a girl. Always were. Besides, I'm no hero. I'm not sure if there is uh, there is such a thing. I realize that. Me, you, Tanaka, all three of us were just paper dolls caught in a storm being blown about by the wind uh, that were far out of our control. Okay, go to the door. Stop talking. Okay, she forgives him. Cool. Doesn't want to hurt people. The door. Oh, it's so, like we're just there. Okay. I'm scared. What if she isn't there? What if I'm wrong? What if I was wrong? It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. You can rest like what you always wanted. No more coming back. No more. No more hurting people. But I can't tell you what's waiting for you. I know it's better than this. I promise. Ayame, do you think it'll hurt? No. How do you know? I don't know, but the dark response to the feeling of people uh, in it. Every time we butted heads, it pushed me out. It feels different now. It feels peaceful. What I'm trying to say is, I don't want to hurt you, Reyna. I only want to help, and I think the dark will too. Okay, I'm ready. Thank you, Ayami. I don't know why you helped me, but thank you. Is that it? What's the closing? For years, Raina searched for the door. The whole time, it was nearby, hidden by a thick darkness that shifted in reaction to her own hatred and fear. The mask began to tug at me as if guiding us, and as we went together, hand in hand, it appeared in front of us. I wasn't sure how I hadn't noticed it before. It was like it has always been there. Until that moment, I never realized how small and truly fragile she was. Standing in front of the door, she looked like a leaf. Squeezing her hand, I reassured her, told her that I forgave her, knowing that if she took a step forward, it would all be over and she fi she'd find peace. Thought maybe I would too. For a long time she stood staying, uh, nothing, and then eventually she let go of my hand and moved through the door. As soon as she did, her image began. She was smiling. Not the unhinged smile from the past, but her true smile, the smile of a little girl. That smile free of hate and malice I remember now. 
Dark remained even after she left, though it began to change as I remained with it, suddenly agitated and expansive like it was growing. Somehow I knew what little light that what I saw was because of Reyna, her fear and hatred seeping out of the shadows, thinking thanks to the light I was able to find the surface. Mask didn't quiet down after Reyna's passing, and every day it became more restless. One day, I cast it into the sea near Kamakura, and despite the Aquana woman's warning, it never returned to me. Though occasionally, I can still feel it, scratching like a pin, a pin needle at the back of my skull. When the girl faded, other memories did too. Impressions of a man called Kazuki Tanaka in a love once shared. I find pictures in my apartment that I know are him, yet all I see is the face of a stranger looking at me. Some nights I wake up with tears in my eyes and images of the face crying out to me uh, from the dark corners of my dream, and I desperately try and remember why the, that memory remains. Yet something about those pictures and stand in the apartment feels familiar, even I can't make any sense of it. So. All I remember for sure is Raina's smile, knowing that in those final moments she forgave me for what I did to her. Finally, I was able to feel peace. And there we go! So, I'm assuming the only choice, if we, um, I think we actually would have saved Tanaka, but I'm not sure what would have happened to Reyna. Um, let me know if you guys want me to get that other ending, and I will definitely do it. I am kind of curious myself, but there we go. It was a good game. I think I, think I was a little... I wish there was a little bit more choice variance. Um, I know it's that's a very hard thing to do. That like that's asking a lot for like a small kind of. Um, I don't know if this is a small company, but it it just kind of feels like it. Um, doing a choice based game is extremely difficult, guys. Um, but I I do want to see my character go into like a psychotic breakdown. I do, um, but it was a good game. It was a great game. I like there are different choices. Like I could have just like knocked out the guard and like took the thing right. I could have turned off the cameras. Everyone could have hated me. But I'm not sure what that would have lead because I still would have ended up at the same ending, right? Because I they didn't talk about the job. I I still don't have a job. Um they didn't talk about uh or I'm not sure, I don't know. I think that's really the only thing that was new, right? Like, the three people I helped in Shinjuki all went on to have good lives. Uh, but us, we just stayed in our apartment, and we don't know. Apparently, we forgot about Tanaka. I don't... Shinjuki? I'm not sure. I guess we just forgot. Nice job, Cherry Mochi. Ooh, I'm glad I waited. Let's go. Interesting. Most interesting. You're nothing but a crow, beating on the terrain that time leaves in this wake. Collector versus the historian. Hmm. Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. The woman had her own desires. I only gave her a little push. I thought you'd be happy. Ito found forgiveness through the context of her suffering by drowning herself in the past. This uh, historian's dream. A gesture of extraordinary kindness, yes, but history does not smile at the happiness of one. It favors, favors the welfare of all. Time is not a single thread, but a complex tapestry pushed and formed into a picture by the force of fate and chance. The different, thread, uh, the different threads present a myriad of truths, but all are an aspect of the same uh, visage in them. Or visage. I don't actually know. I think people say it both ways. Uh, myriad, interesting, interesting. I would have thought uh, one so interested in history would it adhere to a single truth. The contrary, if its history has taught me anything, it is that there is no one truth. The deeper one gazes, the more complex it becomes. Yes, all our truth, all grant insight into the same puzzle. You're right, my old friend. Time is a spiral, observing it long enough, and we may yet learn. No, she is not your plaything. It is not your decision. There is only one way that this can end, only one way for the world to remain intact and stop that the thing that's coming. Must be protected. The role must be performed. Stubborn, so stubborn. Allow me to ask you a question. I believe I know it's already. You've asked it before. Indulge me. I asked her the same thing. If the dancing puppet looks uh, up and sees the strings, does it remain a puppet? What a fate. What a fate and chance. I answer your riddle with one of my own. 
You see the storm clouds approaching, and although you can take shelter or alter your course, does the storm not come regardless? No fun, you've never tolerated my uh, ph philosophical side. Nor are you me when I tell you how things are. I suppose that's because we are one and the same. What of her? All we can do is watch, but eventually she will end up there. There's only one path which will hold the world together. What? Are they talking about like the end of the world? And legit, like the cultist people were actually telling the truth. What? New game plus? What? I didn't find the secret ending. There has to be a secret ending. I don't know. All right, guys, I'll play around with it. If anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. But guys, if you stuck with me through these series, kind of a short one, but a fun one. Thank you so much. I do appreciate those that are just not here for Jump Force. Um, but guys, hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to play around with it. See you guys later.